Hello everybody, today I want to talk about recording acoustic guitars. Um, I'm going to talk about specific technique that I'm using, which is really good for me, and it's good for cases that you want to have a warm acoustic guitar that will be really emphasized in the mix. So to do that, I use two condenser microphones, large diaphragm condenser microphones. Uh, mic number one, I'm going to place pretty close to the hole of the guitar, not aim directly to the hole of the guitar, but um, pretty much there. Um, measuring the distance from the microphone to the guitar, this is something that you're gonna need to experience yourself. But uh, I can tell you that um, what I'm doing here today, uh, I place the microphone quite close to the, uh, to the hole of the guitar and I aim it um, a little bit to the 12th fret. So around, let's say, uh, 40 inches um, uh, from the hole of the guitar. Uh, the other microphone, um, let's call it mic number two, I place uh, close to the player fingers, which is around the fourth fret of the of the neck of the guitar, and it will be a little bit far away uh, regarding to comparing to mic number one. So um, it will be like, let's say, 50 to 60 inches from the neck of the guitar. Um, when I record, make sure you have like decent gains for both microphones because obviously mic number two is going to have a lower source than mic number one and you want to make sh sure that you have a uh, decent gains input so um what we're going to hear first is the these two recording two channels the red one is mic number one the green is going to be mic number two um now what you're going to hear mic number one is going to be panned hard left mic number two is going to be panned hard right um, there isn't any EQ or compression, nothing like that. So let's listen back. <clears throat> okay, sounds pretty good. Um, but I don't know if you noticed, on the left side, you hear a lot of low end that they're, that, that they're not on the right side. So <clears throat> let's listen one few more bars and, and pay attention to the low end where you find it. So what I want actually to do is I want to put the low end in the middle and to make the stereo image uh, more brighter. Um, in order to do that, I duplicate mic number one. So if we go to this section, um, and these two channels are, it's the same track. Um, so the first channel is gonna be panned hard left, the middle channel is gonna be in the center, and the green channel is gonna be panned hard right. So we have two channels of mic number one track, and one channel of mics number two, it's, it's on the neck of the guitar. Um, now I'm gonna use equalizer. So I use the fab filter. You can use any equalizer that you want. Doesn't really matter, it works for me the fab filter, but I can do it with an, an equalizer. And and I want to make sure that in the, the track that it is centered, I want to have only low end. So you need to find the low end that sounds good for you, but, but listen what, what I mean. Very muddy, but that's what I want. So we can see I roll off everything uh, below 50 hertz and everything above uh, 300 hertz. And when I open the EQ of, uh, of the other track of mic number one, let's go this way. So this EQ, um, it's I roll everything around above like uh, er and below uh, 200 hertz. And now, let's hear it all together, okay? Okay, so what we get here, we actually get the low end in the middle on, on, of the stereo image and, and that's, the stereo image is created for more higher frequencies. So let's compare. This is the original tracking without equalizer. And that's what we did here.
Yeah, so this is it. This is pretty simple. Um, the idea here is to use two microphones in the recording, one on the neck and the other is on the on the whole of the guitar. So one of them have, it's like really brighter and have has a lot of headroom and the other microphone has um, a lot of low end. And then I, I duplicate the channels and I put only the low end in the middle of the stereo image and keep the stereo image more brighter. Um, later in the mix you will see that this can work out really good with your mix and the vocals above. One more thing that you can do in order to make your work much easier, after recording and editing like we did here today, um, you can group these three channels to a stereo bus, um, to a bus mix I mean, and, uh, and then you can con control all of uh, these three channels level together. So what I did, I opened uh, a guitar group uh, here in Cubase, and uh, and I go to each channel and I send it, instead of sending it to the stereo bus, I send it to the group that I created. So all of these three channels go to the guitar group. And when you listen together, if I open the mixer, so this is the guitar group, and it controls the volume of all three channels. So think about it when you mix, um, it can work really good. After that, you can put an EQ on the group bus and uh, to put some reverb and compression and everything you want. So instead of working off, uh, on three channels, you can work only on one. I hope you like it. Uh, you can shoot me an email or, or leave a comment here below if you have any questions. And uh, see you soon.